Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody, I am here doing a random collective love reading, right? We're going to go through it together. Uh, this reading is for the collective, so it may not resonate with all of you, okay? Just take what resonates and leave the rest. You guys know what you're doing, right? And thank you so much everyone for all of your support, the likes, all of my subscribers, thank you. Um, thank you for the comments, the shares, the donations, everything. Everything you guys do that helps this channel keep growing. I am so thankful for all of you. I truly mean that, really. Really. I mean, I don't know how else to describe how grateful I am besides just like kind of shouting it or something. I just love you guys. Thank you. Thank you for everything. All right, so Divine, what messages do you have for my collective today? What messages do you have for the collective? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh, boy. I feel like... um yeah man it's pretty i mean this is self-explanatory there's a, there's a masculine energy here who's just there it's man down it's man down okay this is man down and all they want is this new beginning in love they could have had a blessing in love they could have had an ace of pentacles here a brand new beginning Oh boy, this person, I feel like they're realizing a lot here. Um, you know, something could be coming out into the open too that's making this person feel backstabbed and betrayed. Um, clarify this five of, of wands. I get the feeling like there's, maybe it's a competition thing or... I think it's I think there's other people here in the picture maybe with you. This person wants to they they don't want you with anybody else. They don't want you with anybody else collective. That's really what I'm seeing here. Yeah, this person's in they're ha, they're uh, suffering a massive loss here. A huge loss. What is going on here? full moon energy and I was just thinking it this full moon energy there's a lot coming at this person during this full moon what is this energy I, the energy is changing guys I'm feeling it okay I just haven't I haven't quite picked it apart yet but the energy here is changing knight of wands and you know what I I feel like this person you know a lot, uh, all of the readers out here, we've kind of like pinned this person as the player in the deck, okay? But let's let's forget for a second that this is a person, right? Let's think of it as just energy. This energy is really fast moving. It's very passionate. Um, I feel like somebody wants to come towards you fast, passionately for a new beginning here right for this four of pentacles i don't feel like they i don't feel like this is somebody who wants to play you i feel like this is somebody who's in love with you and very passionately wants to do anything that they can to turn this around um they are they're choking with pain right now because um yeah, I feel like they've missed out. They're feeling like they missed out on a blessing in love and an ace of cups and ace of pentacles. And this person like has nothing. I feel like they're they're losing a lot. They're, they could have been with someone here that didn't really love them. Okay, there's no love in these cups. That person could have gotten new love because, see, I'm seeing a blessing go one way and a blessing go another way, and your person ended up in the middle with nothing. That's really what I'm seeing. Then I'm right underneath that, I'm seeing this person with a choice to make. 
the one that they that the one that they chose didn't love them now may have new love that secret may be coming out it could be causing a lot of fighting a lot of competition okay and something was hidden here i just feel like this is the full moon energy change right change we're at the 1010 portal you guys the cycle is at an end it's like officially over Okay, so cycles are coming to an end for everyone. And I feel like this is this person's end. Someone got a blessing in love. Someone's getting blessed with a new beginning and a lot of money. And I feel like your person's ending up with nothing except for a lot of pain. That's really the feeling that I'm getting. Now they they want to see because this person was in love with you anyway. They turned their back on their true soulmate and they know it. They've known it this whole time. Um, now they want to come towards you very quickly, very passionately, wanting to do anything they can to turn this around and reunite. Okay? Yeah. I feel like they're finding out that the person that they chose instead of you has just found new love. They found that out. I feel like uh, whoever they've been with has been hiding it, okay? I also feel like this could be that person's energy just nonstop thinking about this, or that's them. Um, and you are being blessed with a new beginning. Um and a lot of money okay financial stabilities opportunities just all kinds of doors open up when you get the ace of pentacles okay and now they want to come towards you you could be a cancer yeah here where there are two choices okay you could be a, a water sign cancer pisces scorpio i feel like this is you and then over here, we have this Queen of Swords energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay? Um, I feel like these this was their choice that they stood in the middle of. You could be dealing with a Virgo. I've got Scorpio out here too, uh, Cancer, Pisces, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person sees you as their energetic match anyway. They're in love with you. You guys were supposed to end up together here, but they chose this Queen of Swords. And I feel like this Queen of Swords is all stuck and trapped in their mind because they're finding or they're a secret's coming out here about some kind of blessing in love. This Queen of Swords is feeling betrayed already. I feel like because th they knew that this person was standing in the middle of making a choice. I feel like they have found new love. They've put, here's the thing with this third party situation, right? Your person put you in a third party situation, stood here with their back turned towards you for a long time, caused you a great deal of heartache. Now, this person, right, is putting, this Queen of Swords is putting your person in a third party, breaking their heart. They're losing both. They're losing both a blessing in love and, and the Ace of Pentacles, a, a blessing in life, okay? A blessing in life, a new beginning. They're losing both here. They're losing this Queen of Swords, and I feel like they may be losing you as well because this person took too long. They put you in third parties. It's been nothing but heartache and betrayal here. They stood in the middle. Look, I mean... Everything's laid out pretty, it's, it's such an easy reading so far. Like, um, whatever they did to you, collective, they are getting back in return, okay? The swords that they put in your back at one time now are in their back. Everything that they did to you is coming back on them. And I feel like that's what this Eight of Wands is here, is this energy directed it's pointed directly at this person okay this is this full moon energy it's all coming at them at once and now they're in a lot of regret they're they're thinking about you 
They're thinking about a person from their past. That would be you. The one that they turn their back on. The one that would have never hurt them. See, now that this makes them realize, right? This Queen of Swords hurt them because they were hurt, okay? But when you got hurt, you didn't do anything to this person. You were still nothing but kind, loving, you know? You, you, you didn't have any bad intentions for anybody here. Now they can see the difference between somebody who will cause them heartache and somebody who never would have caused them any kind of pain. That's why this person, now they can't stop thinking about you. They had to learn from this toxic situation, and now this person is ready to take a leap of faith. They're ready to start a new journey collective, okay, a new one. They're feeling like a complete and utter fool for the mistake and the messed up choice that they made here. Okay? They can see now clearly. I, I feel like they're seeing things clearly here. You know, they step out from this darkness into the light. They're leaving behind a toxic situation. They're starting a new journey, taking a leap of faith. Coming towards you, there's Six of Cups. I feel like they're, they're watching you too. Um, yeah, they're watching you because I feel like it's the only time when they're happy. Um, okay, what other messages do you have? Yeah, they're watching. I feel like... They want to know if you have anybody else around you. That's the feeling that I'm getting. Do you have anyone else around you? How, how has your life changed, right? Um, have you found somebody new? Did you move on? Blah, 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 blah. They're like doing their research on you here. Research. Okay? And I feel like this person's praying right now because they're getting ready to talk. There's the pain from the third-party situations, right? Here's that four sword. They're about to pick up that sword and communicate. That's what I'm feeling with their star. This is They want to heal things with you. I feel like you could be in star energy right now. Um, putting yourself out in the public eye. That's, it. that's how this person is able to watch you, right? Um, yeah. You're easy to spot. I mean, you could be a star, but this is just putting yourself out there, showing the world your skills, helping other people, right? Living a peaceful life, doing your healing. You're an empath, a spiritual healer, spiritual teacher. You're a guide for other people, getting them through the same kind of heartache and betrayal probably that you went through. Um, and this person, I feel like in watching you, they're learning a lot from you. Okay, they're learning here from you. And they're praying now. They're going to God. They're praying not only for you and to heal things with you, but just their ability to come to you and talk. All right, so clarify this, this four of swords for me, please. What do they want? See, yeah, because they know it's taken them too long to come in. They may have been waiting for a sign from you. You could have another podium out here on YouTube or something like that, doing something spiritual. This person could be watching you, looking for a sign that they can approach. Okay? I feel like it's taken this person so long to come towards you, they may not even know if you feel the same way and uh, that you used to for them. You know, do you have the same kind of feelings for them? Um, so they're looking for that, any kind of clue. <laughs> they're looking for a little clue collective. Can they come forward? Would they stand a chance? This person, um, they're in love with you, but they don't know what to do now. You know, they really screwed up, man. They really screwed up. I feel like they're hearing gossip about you in the community, maybe in friend groups, 
and they're this is worrisome for your person okay they're burdened by this they really are you may think this person doesn't think about you but i'm telling you you're they're in so much regret it's the central focus here of the reading you know in between all of the pain and the heartache truth i'm telling you yeah here's the walk away card on the bottom of the deck um yeah they're very burdened and they really are about to drop some of these burdens and communicate here i feel like um I, you know, I'm, I've been getting the feeling off this page of swords, like this is a karmic individual who could be spreading gossip, who could be trying to stop your person from coming forward. But you know what, I feel like too, this karmic may have new love. It's just that they're jealous, envious of you, I feel. I feel like they're jealous, they're envious, they're... Um, leading the group in gossip about you and i feel like this person just can't take it anymore they don't it's almost like they don't want to hear the gossip anymore okay um yeah and the weird part is is i feel like it's this karmic that already has new love it's just that they they've been competing with you they want to win at all costs it doesn't really matter you know, yeah, the divine is seeing all of this, and I feel like this, the karmic is being warned. It's almost like giving me this energy of, you know, release this masculine. You know what I mean? Release the masculine kind of energy. That's the divine is warning this karmic individual. They're warning them. It's just time, you know. <laughs> what did I say? I, the divine has been helping me out a lot with these readings. I'm telling you, they're right on top of this, man. Thank you, divine. Yes, it is time. It's time. It's time to be honest. It's time to speak the truth. It's time to cut out anything toxic. Okay, this cycle is over. What Wasn't I just talking about the 1010 portal, right? The cycle is over and it's time for these soulmates to come together into union and be freaking happy. It's time, guys. It's right here. <laughs> it's time for this soulmate connection to come together and, and have this ultimate wish fulfillment. All right. That's what the divine is saying to this karmic. Um, I feel like we all know this. You know, and this masculine is about to be released from this karmic situation here. They, uh, they need to heal though, okay? Yeah, I feel like you already know this. You already know. You're, you're being very silent, being very still. The high priestess, you know, she's the secret keeper for the Hierophant. Um... And, you know, it's really funny because the, you guys are like a pair. It's time to bring the soulmate connection together. It's time for the masculines to elevate um, and, and, and have an enlightenment, okay? They need, to, they need to ascend. And I feel like you've already done that. I feel like you're a little bit ahead of the game here, Collective. Um, you're on top of the wheel, these math, the masculine and the karmic, they've been stuck in a karmic cycle here. And I feel like it's time for everybody to elevate, right? Yeah, because I'm seeing this soulmate connection kind of turning into the higher font and the high priestess. And there, there you have your divine masculine and your divine feminine working together, right? And I feel like this cycle is bringing in this change, you guys. Your person's going through a major change right now. A major, major change. And I feel like you're just, you're being very patient or you've been very patient. You're being very quiet, silent, um, not saying anything. Just using your intuition because you can feel 
that this person wants to approach. All right. All right, what can you show me here? I just love it when the Hierophant and the High Priestess come out together. It doesn't normally happen along with the Wheel of Fortune. This is really kind of classic right here, okay? It really is. It's a real treat. It's a real treat, Collective. Yeah, I feel like it's time for this soulmate connection. This one in particular, it's time to come together, guys. For whoever this is resonating with, all right? Well, you always have a choice of whether or not you want this person back, but that's what it's saying to me here. Um, yeah, this keeps coming out on the bottom of the deck, too. This is how your person feels out in the cold. Out in the cold, falling apart, wanting to come towards you and apologize for walking away. Get this love back. This is what they want. But I feel like right now they've got to heal. They've got to spend time thinking about their past behavior. This is the ugliest bedspread that I've ever seen. But that bedspread is an ugly pattern. The patterns of their own behavior. Okay? And they need to take a good, hard look at this at night by themselves, right? While they sit up at night and cry over you and the choices that they made. So this is them needing to take a look at things, remaining out in the cold for a little while longer so they can learn a lesson, so they can boss up and, and like morph into the higher font, right? Become that divine masculine energy, divine masculine okay that goes with the divine feminine the star this past life soulmate connection yeah so right now i feel like your person is like they've got the jitters collective they know they need to come forward but they also need to heal at the same time all right um but yeah i i feel like they are on their way they're, and this is a very fast-moving night, okay? They're coming in with a big apology here. So get ready, because things are about to change, and they're changing drastically. I mean, your person is really... Um, they're going through a transformation right now, but they're going to come out as the divine, masculine, higher font, energy to the high priestess okay so get ready this changes it's happening it's happening right now okay um anyway collective that's what i have for this quick reading i love it the energy is changing and these masculines are bossing up that's what we want to see right yes anyway if you like this reading please click that like button right guys subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you like this vibe and until next time everyone take care of you and peace out